Welcome back everybody, my name is Dustin and in the last video we started to work on the SOL2 and ENTT meta bindings and we were able to remove the hard-coded entities out of the application and into the main.lua file. So all this used to be done inside of the application.cpp uh, but that's all removed now and it's all in this script. And then today we're going to finish the bindings for the entity and start the bindings for the registry. So let's go back to entity.h. I left the has component, get component and re remove component functions as somewhat of an exercise to add for the entity and hopefully you're able to get that done and get that to work if not uh, that's okay we're gonna go over that now so let's start those now so we'll add in template type name and we're gonna do t component these are all gonna be t components t component and it's just going to be bool this is just gonna be has component component entity and then that's it that's all this one needs and then template type name t component and then it's going to be auto get component this one's going to take in our entity as well and also the soul this state And then we're going to have the remove component template type name t component and it's going to be auto remove component so also since we're going to be having this return something i think we should also change this one to return something as well before i thought we didn't need it i still haven't used it <laughs> when I'm messing around with my own because the, the main engine is much further ahead than this one I still haven't really used the return component here, but we're, let's add it just so, just so we do have it Okay, and then let's go here. Let's create these. I should put those in our entity.inl file. Awesome Go back over to entity.inl right here So it added those in for us But we also have to change this because we changed it in the h file dot h file and it looks like I was already returning <laughs> for some reason I had it as void but now now we actually are returning it so here let's do all of these okay and the has component one is pretty straightforward so we just going to we have our entity already and it already has this function so we just go entity dot has component t component component cool And get component, we need to go auto reference component is equal to entity dot get component t component. And then after we get that component, we need to go return soul make reference. And then we go send in the soul state or this state. And we want to make an SDD ref of the component cool and then one more here we have the return component so we go return entity dot remove component and that's t component these are all template functions so we need to add that in component cool that should do it for us so now that we have the functions filled out we need to actually add them into our register function so ENTT knows about them or entity which way should I say it? Which way is faster? I think they both have the same amount of syllables. But anyway, that's template. Let's go funk. As component. T component. And we go template. So we want to do it for all the ones that we just added. And get component.
Cool. Now that we have these functions in the register function, we need to now bind them to Lua. So let's go to entity.cpp and add those in now. So we already have the add component from last time for the last video. Now we want to add in the new ones that we just created. We can start with has component. So just has component. Now the signatures are going to be pretty close to the same. So we're going to go entity reference entity and we want to send in the component as its sole table reference call and we're just putting this in a lambda function we probably don't need this capture here uh, because i'm not grabbing anything from outside in am i so we don't even need the capture for these because we're not using anything outside of it so let's go const auto has component or has comp is equal to invoke meta function. We created this in the last video. And then go get ID type, sends in the comp, then as component is the reflective function. And we want to send in our entity. There we go. And then we just want to, this sends back a meta any. So now we want to check to see if the meta any is is real. So has comp. Then we want to cast it if it is. Has comp dot cast. And in this case, it's going to be cast to a bool or false. Cool. And then let's do the get component. And with get component, we can go. Oh, we don't need that again. Entity reference. If we do end up needing it, we'll add it in, but I don't think we do. Console table reference component. And so this state. Cool. And we want to go const auto component is equal to invoke meta function. We'll be using the invoke meta function a lot. Get ID type, that's our comp. And then we're sending in that reflected function, the get component and the entity and the state. And basically we want to do the same thing here. We want to go return component and we want to check to see if we have the component. And if we do, we want to cast it to a sole reference or if not, sole Lua nil T. So we just return nothing really. And then one more of these, so we go the remove component. And then it's again another lambda function that takes in an entity reference. Entity, or entity, entity. I did it twice. Entity. And we also want to send in const so table reference component. function cool and then same idea we want to just check there all right so that's the add, remove, and has components added. So let's add a few other things here. Let's add the name of the entity. And because it, it's just a member function, we can just say entity uh, get name. Let's add the group. Entity get group. Let's add the kill function. 
entity kill. And we also want just the ID. And the ID is the entity itself. And this one we'll, we're going to go entity, send in the entity. And we're going to want to, actually we can just do this in a one line. Return static cast int 32t. And that's just the entity dot get entity. Cool. So that will cast the entity for us. Now that we have our entity finished and this stuff should automatically be registered because we're already calling it in the scripting system right here. We're already doing the registering here. So let's move over to the registry and start adding some stuff there. All right, so we're also gonna wanna be able to bind the components to some of these registry functions. So let's create another register function. However, this time it's gonna be for the registry. So it's gonna be the same thing. It's gonna be a template, type name, T component, Oops. I'm going to go static void register meta component. Cool. It's the same function, but this time in the registry. And we're also going to have a couple of components down here as well. So for today, what we are really going to focus on is how to create a runtime views in Lua using the registry. So we're going to need a couple of functions, the add component to view and exclude component from view. What this will do is it will gather all the entities in the registry that have the desired components that we pass in. And then the opposite will exclude them. So it'll exclude the entities with the given components. These are also going to be templates. So let's do that now. Let's go with a template. Type name, T component, and it's going to set, we're going to return a runtime view, runtime view, reference, and it's going to be add component to view. And this is going to take in a registry pointer, registry, and ENTT, runtime view, reference view and we're going to do the same thing for exclude so let's just copy this and this will be exclude component from view now we're not actually excluding the components we're excluding the entities that have the components the same as this one so you're going to be adding the component per se but you're adding the entities that have that particular component so let's create a registry dot INL file or inline file. So include, and we'll just include it right now. It doesn't exist yet. Registry.inl. And let's go create that now. So here in our ECS, add new item. Registry.inl. And this needs to include the registry. And we also want namespace. Scion core ECS. At least I think that's what we called it. Let's go back. Scion core ECS. Cool. And let's put these functions in there and see if it sees the .inl file. And it doesn't. So let's just, and we can actually move all these into there as well. Let's just move these first into the .inl file and see if it sees it now. And it still doesn't. So we'll just copy these three functions and bring them over. Cool. Let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of the static. We don't need that in here. This is registry, part of the registry. Whoops. And I actually want this at the bottom here. Cool. And these ones are just free functions, so they can just be here. All right, we go back to our registry. Everything looks clean, everything is good. So what is the ENTT runtime view? So again, I recommend going to the ENTT crash course here and it'll explain more what a runtime view is, but we're basically gonna do that. So we're sending it in, we're gonna wanna iterate over our registry at the storage at the particular component. That's what we wanna do. So let's do that now. 
The links will be in the description for that as well. All right, so here we just want to go return view dot iterate. And we want to send in our registry and get the actual registry so we can get the storage of the T component. Okay, that's it. That's the adding. So that's yeah, iterating over the entities of that particular storage of the registry. Okay, and then here we want to do the same thing, except this time exclude. So return view.exclude registry. Get registry. Storage. Component. Cool. That's it. Those are our two exclude and iterate functions. And now we need to do the register. So we're registering it with ENTT meta. So let's go using namespace ENTT literals. And we go ENTT meta T component. And we want to send in the type. The type is going to be ENTT type hash t component value and we have our two template functions so template func add component to view of t component and we'll call it that as well add component to view hash string and one more we could just take this whole name here awesome now that's it for now we can add more later so we're finished with that we need to create the Lua bindings so we can have access to the registry in Lua before we do that let's actually go back to our registry.h so we're gonna need to be able to access the registry in Lua so we need to create bindings for that so we need to go static void create Lua registry bind and this is gonna take a sole state and it's gonna take in a registry reference. So we need soul here. Cool. And we can create this in .cpp, perfect. Now that we're getting ready here, the first thing we wanna do is create the binding for the ENTT runtime view. So we want the Lua to know what a runtime view is. So we need to actually create a binding for that. So we go using namespace ENTT literals. Cool. And then we go Lua dot new user type ENTT runtime view. And we're just gonna call this the runtime view. And this is not going to have a constructor. So constructor. So so no constructor. And it's going to have a for each function. So for each entity that we get in the view. And it's going to go like this. That's going to take in a lambda. It's going to capture references here from the So it's going to be capturing this registry. And it's going to take in a const. ENTT runtime view reference or itself and it's going to have a function callback for sole function reference and that's the callback and the sole state this state s awesome so the first thing we're going to do is check to see if the callback is a valid sole function and if not we're just going to return. Now we just want to loop through all the entities in the view and call the callback function on it. So we go for auto entity in view. And here we'll just create an entity. 
int with the registry and the entity itself. So this needs to know about the entities. So include, maybe if I spelt that right, include entity.h. Cool. So we're creating an entity here from this entity, right? So it's, it's creating it from the entity itself going in. And we already made a constructor for that. And we're gonna send that into the callback because Lua already knows what our entity is. It'll know what to do, be able to do with it. It's already bound. And we're sending that entity in to do whatever we need to do inside of that callback function. And the only other function that we need is the exclude function. So exclude. And that's going to be this takes in a runtime view. And it takes in const soul variadic args VA. So it's variadic because you can send multiple components to exclude if you want. As long as they're bound and we know about it, then we can send in multiple components to exclude. So in here, we're just gonna wanna go for const auto reference type in VA. So what types are we sending in? Or you can say components if you like. And then if we want, we can put a quick check here to see if the type is valid. So if type dot as soul table, because we know the components are soul tables is valid. And I like to do it the opposite way. I like to say if not, and then just continue at the top. So if not valid, just continue. Continue. Cool. And now that we're here, we want to go const auto excluded view is equal to invoke meta function. So we need to add in our meta helpers as well. So include meta utilities or meta helpers with a function and that's get ID type all right so this must be in a different namespace as well so we're gonna have to add that in I uh, can't remember what we called it let's go check it out ah uh, yes scion core utils so let's add that in I will just say using namespace get rid of that Cool. Now it knows what this is and we can send in our type. Then we need to call our excluded function. So exclude component from view. Ah, hash string. And then that takes in the pointer to the registry and it takes in the view itself. Cool. And then here we're going to go view is equal to excluded view. Like, is it actually, did we get something back? And if not, if we did get something back, we want to cast the excluded view, excluded view to a runtime view, ENTT runtime view. Cool. And if not, just send back the view itself. I'm not sure why that's not happy with me right now. Ah, uh, silly me. So we put this as const here. Can't be const if we're changing it. <laughs> so there is the runtime. That's it for the runtime. So we don't want to make this too complicated. So now we have to create the registry. For this, we will not be providing a way for the user to actually create a new registry. I believe it can all be controlled from the back end, and the user using Luo will just need to access that registry. Feel free to add in the construction of the registry if you like for your engine, if you wanna have multiple registries. However, I haven't seen the need for it yet. We may add it later, but I'm trying to make this as simple as possible for the user. Okay, so now we we'll just go again, Lua, new user type. And this one is a registry. And we'll call it the registry. So no constructor again. 
We can add the create function for the registry. However, this is, it's not necessary because the entity class already handles that, but you can add it in if you want. So you can just say create and do all the registry create stuff, but we're not gonna worry about that right now because we can already have, we can already create entities by using the entity itself. For now, the get entities function. So get entities is what we're gonna call it. And we can go We want to send in all the components that we're creating the view here, basically our, our runtime view. So variadic args, VA. So what this will do is it'll filter out all the entities based on the arguments that we have. So here we want to create a runtime view. So ENTT runtime view, and we'll just call this our view. Cool. And then we want to go through all our arguments for const auto reference type in VA. And we can put that check in as well. So if not type dot as so table is not valid, we just want to continue because that type hasn't probably been uh, bound yet. Lua doesn't know what that is or soul doesn't know what that is. So we'll just skip it. And then in const auto entities invoke meta function get id type type and then add component to view hs awesome and then we got to send in our pointer our registry pointer and our view So the same thing as above for exclude, we're gonna say view is equal to entities, check to see if our entities are real, and then cast it to a runtime view. And if not, just send back an, the view itself. Cool, and then here, we just want to return the view. Return view, awesome. And just one more function for now, and we'll just call it clear. We're probably not gonna use it right now, but this will just clear all the entities out of the registry. It won't take anything, and it'll just be registry dot get registry clear. Awesome. All right, we're almost done. All we need to do now is register all these components in the script system. So let's go there now. I believe that's all we have to do. Let's go check. So here, uh, let's find our register or registry. So registry uh, create little bind registry. Cool. That's in. And then let's bind our components. So registry dot register meta component transform component and sprite component. So the same as above. So now every time we add a new component, you're gonna to wanna to come here and you're gonna to wanna to register them just like this. And then we'll just have a whole list of components that are registered with the registry and the entity itself. Cool. Now we, let's just see if it builds before we do any changes to our Lua file. All right, so it looks like we have some errors and it's just a syntax error here and oops right here cool i think that's it you guys probably caught that already <laughs> awesome so nothing's broken our entity is working so let's go back to, let's go into our main.lua file and test out some of these functions that we created so right down here let's add in uh let's just go sprite we already have a sprite so we'll go local sprite 2 is equal to g entity get component sprite so we're getting the sprite component and then if we have the sprite component let's go back let's go quickly see what the what we have here so let's get the texture name because i know that's a string we can get all this other stuff if we like but that's fine we'll just do that so we're going to get the sprite and let's just print out the name so we'll just go print and then we'll just go name or let's say sprite texture, texture name, texture name. And then that's just sprite 
two dot texture name. Okay, see if that works. Awesome, so the texture name is the castle. So we are, get component is working. Beautiful. So we know that that works. We can just comment this out for now. And up here, let's do some registry fun. First thing we'll do is we'll create another entity and we'll call this entity2, gentity2, just for fun. And we're gonna change, change this one just to big testy. Cool. And I'll leave it in the same group, that's fine. And we'll add another component another transform component, but this time we won't access it. Yeah, because that's optional. And we're just adding a transform component wherever, 200, sure. We're not gonna add a sprite component though. We're just adding a transform so we have it, and it's a G entity too, okay. And down here, we can go local, view is equal to registry dot get entities transform and then we go view for each so for each entity in our view we want to do a function this is our callback entity on each entity I'm just going to print its name. Print entity name. And we did that function there. And this should work for us. If not, we'll get an error and we'll fix the error. Awesome. So yeah, we have two entities, big testy and test entity. Cool. That's exactly what I wanted to see. Okay, let's close this again. Now let's make sure our exclude works. So here we'll just go view exclude. Exclude, and we're just going to exclude the sprite component. The only one that has the sprite component is the G entity one, which is test entity. So now when this runs, it should only say big testy because we're excluding any component, any entities that have a sprite component. Okay, so let's run that. And it failed. So view, global view in main chunk. Oh, <laughs> that's because I'm an idiot. <laughs> you got to put it, it, it wasn't created yet. So that's why. So let's try again. Awesome. So only big testy because the other one was filtered out with the exclude. Awesome. So, and if we do, if we exclude transform, it should exclude them both. This should actually be empty. Okay. Awesome. So see, nothing got printed because it excluded both the entities that we currently have created. Awesome, that's it for this video. Uh, try it out, hopefully it worked out for you. And in the next video, we're actually gonna be doing the GLM bindings. So try, give that a shot, give that a crack if you can. And we'll go over how to do it in the next video. All right, talk to you next time.